Hey guys, welcome to my channel. And if you've been here before, welcome back to my channel. Um, today, this video, I am doing a what's in my hospital bag. Um, for those who do know, but probably no one knows, I am 31 weeks and 5 days pregnant. I will be 32 weeks on Saturday. And so we have roughly 8 weeks to go. Um, I am predicted to come, he, he's predicted to be born 2 weeks early. So instead of November 17th, roughly the first week of November. Um, sorry. And at 35 weeks, we will be at a baby shower um, two hours away from our hospital um, and our house. So I thought I'd pack the diaper bag, pack my hospital bag. I'm going to be packing my husband soon. And I am definitely an overpacker. I will be the first to admit that. But I wanted to just share what I packed for any first-time moms not knowing what they should pack or if they think they're not packing enough or what they're packing, if they're packing too much. Um, so I'm going to stop rambling. I'm just going to get to it. So I have overpacked in this cute little pink bag. And by little, I mean it's huge. It's really heavy. It is originally $18.88 at Walmart. And... Ow. This hit my baby belly. And it is a No Boundaries brand, and I got it for $11 on sale. So, there's two pockets. There's a small front one and a huge one. There is a small pocket in the front and two pocket, like, zipper pocket in the back. And two little pockets inside the big one. So, the first side, the first pocket... I just have eight pads in there, the heavy ones. Um, my hospital does provide a lot of stuff for mother and baby. But, sorry about that. Um, I had to pause my video because my husband was leaving and needed to tell me where he was going. Um, not that he needed to. We have one car. And it's just kind of like a respect thing. So if I need the car, you know... He knows, like, I'll know that it's here or not to use. Um, so, I'm not going to take them out. I have four pads. Um, now he gets the big bag. And I'm sorry for the rambling. I don't ever do a lot of videos. And I don't do a lot of, like, here's what I pack, this is my stuff type videos. Um, but I haven't uploaded in a while, and I really want to get back into it. So... I don't have everything in here. Um, a lot of my stuff I'm packing, I'm putting in my husband's bag because he's really just bringing the laptop and his clothes. Um, so we can like edit videos and stuff when we're there. Um, in this garbage bag, I'm not gonna open it because it's tied. I have two things of lotion, body wash, and a thing of shampoo. Um, I was gonna bring conditioner, but chances are like I'm probably just gonna buy dry shampoo and wash my body if I'm feeling up to it and the delivery goes as planned um and he's also gonna bring some hygiene products but I really just you know wash body wash hair I'm really gonna be laying in the hospital bed or sitting on a chair with the baby um and then I have sandals they are pretty dirty as you can see I wear them a lot <laughs> Um, I got these at Old Navy. They were, I want to say, 2 or $3. Um, probably my favorite pair of sandals I've ever had. <laughs> I'm going to wear them, like, when I'm walking around or in the shower mostly. Because even though hospitals are clean, anyone who's been there for more than a day um, those showers and the floors are really disgusting. And those socks they give you are not comfortable whatsoever. Unless you're laying in bed. Next we have... <clears throat> I have two extension cords. They're tangled, kind of. Um, because we got a tour of the hospital. And the outlets are very far from the bed. <laughs> and even the pull-out couch my husband will be sleeping on. So that way we can charge phones. We can charge... 
the laptop. And I don't know if you can hear, if you hear meowing, my cat, he's a freaking baby. Since my husband just left and I've locked myself in the nursery, he just wants attention. Actually, I'm going to let him in real fast because I feel bad. Jasper! Jasper! Okay. So, he's my little baby. Um, next I have two pairs of slippers, or one pair of slippers, two shoes. Um, I got these such a long time ago. I love them so much. I got them for Christmas, a few years back. Um, comfy slippers on. They're the boots. I love the boots better than anything. <laughs> um, if I can find any of this stuff with links, um, I will add them below. I know in my diaper bag there will be, uh, links below. Um, then I have a Conair straightener. It's actually my husband's straightener. <laughs> so, this is Jasper. On a quick side note, say hi, Jasper. Um, he, ow, stop it. He's so nosy. <laughs> um, a straightener and a hair dryer. Uh, chances are I won't be straightening my hair for sure. I might be hair drying it or I might make Caleb do it. Um, I don't normally do it on a daily basis, but for pictures or, you know, you know, now I'm going to have a kid. I want him to think his mom dresses nice and puts time into her, her face. Um, next I have just a simple hairbrush, which is super important because your hair gets knotty and they do give you combs, but like I said, anyone who's been in the hospital, their combs are their flimsy crap combs that don't do anything for your hair next i have a little pampers bag i have a huge makeup bag and i do not want to carry it around with me considering i don't normally wear makeup i just really have a lot of makeup so i condensed it down to the stuff i wear the most and i have some like perfume in here a deodorant lipstick uh foundation eyeshadow um my favorite eyeshadow I use is Naked Urban Decay. Um, I'll try to find the link. My mom bought it for me for Christmas. Um, like I said, I don't really wear makeup, so I don't really buy it. Uh, it's normally if people buy it for me um, or give it to me. And then my mother-in-law gave me, I'm not 100% sure where you would get it. I'm going to look it because these are really nice. It, one is Love. Love's Soft Jasmine Body Mist. The other is Love's Heart Throb. Um, jasmine is my favorite. Um, yeah. <laughs> and they're small, they're compact. Uh, 1.5 fluid ounce bottles. Um, and it's some makeup remover. And it just fit better. It made my bag a little bit lighter, which is really nice. And I just realized I'm going to have to repack all this stuff. <laughs> um, then I have my maternity bra. Um, I love this bra. Um, you know, anyone who doesn't know how it uses, it works. It just clips. This was, I got for $8.88 at Walmart. Um, still kind of expensive for a bra, but I know we spend more money on bras typically, you know, as girls for comfort and it's really decent for maternity nursing bras since I know they can be really really expensive um next I have I'm not probably not gonna actually wear half the clothes in here because like I said I will only be in there for about 24 to 48 hours if it goes well but like I said I'm an overpacker so I am making sure I have stuff just in case. We do live 10 minutes away from the hospital. That is, if I do give birth up here and not five weeks early. <laughs> Cross your fingers. Um, so I know that if there is something I need, my husband will go grab it for me. But I have this tank top. Um, it says, just a small town girl. I got this. Actually... A month before I met my husband, um, back in 2016, 
And it was at, uh, not Windsor, it was at Gordman's, I believe. Um, it's really cheap, it was maybe like 12 bucks, maybe cheaper. For my favorite tank top, and it's one of my sh only shirts I have that fit before I got pregnant. I also wasn't the skinniest girl, so, but like, my belly hasn't gotten that big. Well, it has been. I lied. <laughs> um, it just still fits, and I love it. Uh, next is just, I have two pairs of underwear. They're just regular cotton, you know. Got them at Walmart. I'm going to try to find a link. They were probably like eight bucks for a pack of five, something like that. They're probably cheaper. Underwear that if I bleed through, I'm not going to care about. But they're still cute, and they're super comfy. I need to buy more. <laughs> Um, actually, my husband bought those for me because I, I'm the kind of person I hate buying things for myself. So I could wear underwear for years, the same one, without buying any new ones. And he was like, you have stuff from high school. And I am, I'm like two years out of high school. And this is stuff from like middle school, or middle school, high school. But all this stuff is new since I graduated. Um, then I have this maternity shirt. This is probably going to be my going home shirt. Um, it's very cute. I got this from The Crossing. It is a motherhood maternity shirt, though. So I will try to find it or something similar from the brand, um, the store. I got this at the program, which I talked about in my, the di diaper bag video called The Crossing. Um, you watch videos. And the more you earn, watch, you get mommy money. And then they have a little boutique and you can go shopping. And they have every piece of maternity clothing they have is a dollar. Um, and I like this one because it's low cut. So, you know, just drop down. There's the boob since I plan to breastfeed. And it's very comfy. It's very cute. Um, it's large. Um, and so I was like, yeah. I'm not planning on going anywhere after the day we get out. Um, we might stop at my husband's or grandma's house because this is her first grandson or great grandson. And all the other kids, they'll wait until apparently like their kids are older before she meets them. She wants to meet him as a newborn. So we'll probably, and it's, she lives probably a few blocks away from the hospital in the opposite direction of our house. But I love her a lot, so <laughs> I might. I might just stop by and be like, here's our kid. <laughs> um, next, I have four tank tops. <laughs> Do not need this many. Um, you probably only need one or two outfits, three tops. Um, but I also don't wear pajamas. I wear tank tops and sweats and, like, leggings to bed. So... I will be packing like a pair of shorts um, in the hospital bag as well. Um, but like I said, um, so I have a lot of tank tops, you know, for sleep and then I'm gonna shower. So I kinda need a little extra. Um, so I have this great, this blue one. This is a no boundaries, uh, large. I got it from Walmart last year for a dollar. Um, it was just about to be fall, so all their tank tops were on sale. Um, I believe they're actually back on sale. Um, then I have, this is from Old Navy. It is a large. And I will tell you, I would think this was a maternity tank top. It is so big. It is so comfy. And it's a large. So, But it's a lot bigger than the one I just showed you. So... It's one of my favorite. It's not even maternity. Um, my maternity tank top is in here. It's actually in the dirty laundry. Then I have one. It's shorter. Um, just a blue tank top. I got this from the loft. Um, I don't know where they have the loft at. I just know that it was in Illinois. I used to work there. And they sell their tank tops for pretty cheap. I want to say you can get five for eight dollars. And then I have, my friend actually gave this to me. And by Gabe, I mean, she left it at my house, and then we lost contact, and just never got back to her. <laughs> um, this is also large. It is the So 
perfect cami. And it's just black. I'm going to wear this one, if not the maternity one, with the maternity shirt when I go home. Then I have, I bought this specifically for the hospital. Because I have a winter robe. And it's pink with flowers. And I got it from my friend. Um, that one she actually did get as a gift. <laughs> um, it's this long blue robe. I love blue. I have blue eyes. Makes it pop. Uh, I got it $5 at Walmart. It is the Secret Treasures Sleepwear Collection. Um, it's a large. And it's fit my belly. I have been huge in my pregnancy since about 14 weeks. So since I got in the second trimester. Fits perfectly. And it still is to my knees. And I have a huge bump now. Um, which after this I'll show you my bump. <laughs> and then I have... I have one pair of socks because, like I said, I plan to wear my slippers or sandals. Um, I hate socks. But I got a pair for when I go home because, like I said, it's going to be fall. So I'm not going to wear slippers outside and I'm not going to wear sandals outside um, carrying a newborn. <laughs> so I'm going to have my tennis shoes with me, just an extra pair of socks. And then I have... <clears throat> These maternity pants, they're probably $11 at Walmart. I hate patterned pants. I will tell you that. I will be the first to admit it. I got a large, I believe. Yes. Um, because a lot of the maternity pants I have have gotten, I got mediums. And they were so small. They ran small. These are really big. Um, I really like that, though, because as I'm getting bigger, you know, my legs are getting thicker. And... They're still big, but they fit. And the best part is it's a soft, like, smooth, you know, non-scratchy material. So, like, I wear them to bed a lot. And they're the comfiest thing ever. Then I have, these are my grandma's, I believe, or my sister's. Um, just the leggings. Um, they're really big on me. They have pockets. <laughs> and they're a really ugly color, but honestly... <sighs> I'm going to be pushing a baby out of my vagina, so, you know, or cut out of me if I need to. So I'm not really worried about color or pattern or, you know, looking like America's Next Top Model. I am just trying to look like I survived childbirth. <laughs> and then the last thing I have in my bag, actually no, I have a toothbrush in my bag too, is these leggings. Um, they are my sister's. Well, they were. Uh, they are Falls Creek. They are large. I'll try to find them or a similar leggings to them. They're not maternity, but they fit almost as good as any maternity pants I've ever worn. Um, and then, of course, I'll have my phone and my charger. Um, but, like I said, my husband will have a majority of the rest of my stuff if I need it. Um... All I'll need to bring is my ID. I do have a birth plan I will be printing out and having, but my doctor is well aware of what my birth plan is. And normally hospital papers you would need. Um, I wanted to pack a lot more, but my husband was like, his sister, his sisters have gone through childbirth three times each. Well, this will be his sister's third child. So, like, he knows. <laughs> I trust him. And I've asked my friends, and they're just like, girl, you're you're not moving in. <laughs> so, that's honestly all you really typically need. I will say, though, if there is one thing you need, screw everything and bring chapstick. Um, I already have chapped lips as it is. <laughs> um, and, yeah. But other than that, that is everything. I will try to find links. If not, sorry. <laughs> um, still getting used to YouTube. And I will... I'm actually going to be making a nursery video because we got it done. Um, I'll be uploading it tonight because I'll be recording it when my husband gets home. And I'm really excited. And I hope you guys subscribe, like my videos, and... Uh, Continue to watch because we will become daily vlogging soon. Um, and vlogging a lot more once our son is born. And with that, I will see you guys next time. Bye.